Hey guys and welcome! At my portal guide video that I made a few weeks ago, there were a lot of questions on how to set a higher time limit and score for team deathmatch and free for all matches. So today I'm gonna show you how you can do this for a new experience and also how you can still add it to your existing matches. When you start to create your TDM experience, you set the game mode and the map rotation and then the game mode details. But unlike Conquest or Rush, you can't change the maximum score or the time limit here. This is something you can only do in the rules editor right at the end. So make your modifier and restriction settings that I already explained in my portal guide and start the rules editor. With the last update, DICE already added some rules here that you can simply change, but these are only available if you create a new experience. For existing ones, you will have to add them manually. If you create a new game and you want to set the score and time limit for either TDM or free for all, you have to change the two limit and score actions. The time limit is set in seconds, so the default 900 seconds are 15 minutes, and the target score is set to single kills. It's not a multiplier like it is in the Conquest editor. Just double click at them and enter the number you want. The rest stays the same. The increment score rule says that if one soldier does a kill, their team score is increased by 1. So if you want to make the score increase by 2 or 3 with each kill, then set the number at the end of the action to 2 or 3. The check win condition rule triggers when the game mode will end, so either when the maximum score is reached or the maximum time limit. If you should not have these rules in your team deathmatch editor for some reason or you want to add it to an already existing match, you can easily set them yourself. By default, you only start with one empty rule in the editor. You can rename this to set score and time limit. Then on the left, click at gameplay and under game mode, you will find enable default game mode scoring. Drag it over to the editor window and place it in the action slot of the rule. Then you need to set it to false. To do this, choose literals on the left and then boolean. Drag it over to the default game mode scoring action and choose false from the drop down menu. Then enter the next two actions. Again, go to gameplay and scroll down to set game mode time limit and set game mode target score. Place both of them in your rule in the shown order. Then go to literals again and insert numbers on both actions. Now set them to the value you want. Then you need to add the two rules for increment and end of game as the default values were disabled with the default game mode scoring as well. So go to rules and insert two more rules to the mode frame. Then rename them to increment score and check win condition if you like to. And add two condition blocks that you can find at rules as well. For both rules we have to change the rule settings so they get triggered when a player is doing a kill. To do this select on player earned kill from the drop down menu. Then for the increment score we need to add a few more things to the condition. Go to logic and select not equal to and drag it over to the condition. Then go to player and select get team id. Drag it over to not equal to and duplicate it with right click or drag another one into the second slot from the menu. Then go to event payloads and choose event player and drag it to the first slot. Then event other player and drag it to the second slot. Now we need an action. Go to gameplay and select set game mode score but not set game mode target score. Then we need to fill it up again. Click get team id from the condition above, duplicate it and insert it to the slot 1. Event player should have been duplicated automatically. Then go to math and choose add and also get game mode score from the gameplay options. Then again duplicate get team id and pull it over to the slot of game mode score. Now the only thing we still need for this rule is the number. Choose it from literals and set it to 1. This way we set a rule that basically means if one player shoots an enemy player, the score of the first player's team is increased by 1. Now we need to set the last rule that looks if the score of one team is equal to the target score of the game mode, and if this is the case, the game ends. So to do this we also need to set the condition first. Go to logic and choose equals. Then you can duplicate the whole get game mode score block from the former rule and drag it into the first slot of equals. Then choose get game mode target score from the gameplay options. Now the last thing we need to do is to set the end game mode action. You can find this block at gameplay. Then duplicate the get team id block from the condition and drag it over to the free slot. 
And that's it! Now you can run a team deathmatch or free for all mode with your own score and time limit settings. And if the save function should not work like it does for me sometimes, just click back to one of the other tabs and then back to editor and it should work. I hope this video was helpful for you and if it is, be sure to give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching, I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.